Hi students, a very pleasant and warm greetings to you all. Hope you are doing good. Last session we have seen about Open Office Writer, right? Hope you would have read that whole chapter in your book. And today we are going to start to learn about working with Open Office Calci, right? Open Office Calci means it's a spreadsheet, right? Spreadsheet means this is very useful office automation tool to organize or uh, to analyze a uh, data in a tabular form that means nothing but in a table right in tabulation we are going to calculate or we are going to uh, keep a data in a form of a table right spreadsheet users means this uh, they can adjust any values that are stored in a value format and they can calculate it right if you are using spreadsheet uh, for uh, doing some calculation it will automatically do the calculation for us we can either um, click a single tab on sum or average like that we'll have some uh, default things and uh, other than that we can just give the formula also in the formula tab and we can calculate the values very easily right this is called what is analysis right modern spreadsheet will have mel multiple interactive sheets and uh, they can display data either in a text form or in a numerical form or maybe in a graphical form also right let's see the evolution of this spreadsheet okay daniel bricklin and bob frankston this people only developed the first spreadsheet right the first spreadsheet was developed in the year 1979 for apple II. okay the first uh, spreadsheet was called as visi visi calci okay visi calci that is the first spreadsheet and this is developed by daniel bricklin and bob frankston okay daniel bricklin and bob frankston in the year 1979 for apple II. right after that in the year 1982 lotus corporation introduced um, this lotus one two three that is uh, ex uh, expressed like this lotus one hyphen two hyphen three right this lotus uh, one two three was the first to introduce the cell names and the macros okay and then in this uh, 1987 microsoft corporation introduced the excel sheet okay this excel is implemented um, with a graphical user interface right so this here we will be having the ability to point and click using the mouse okay there are uh, many other spreadsheet applications also this microsoft excel um, is the most popular spreadsheet software okay they have given about the father of spreadsheet also here daniel singer is the father of spreadsheet okay daniel singer dan bricklin is born in 16th july 1951 and they have given a small data about this uh, father of spreadsheet in page number 102 just read it okay in the do you know section Let's see about Open Office Calci. This is the popular open source spreadsheet application maintained by Apache Foundation, right? This uh, Open Office is an Apache software. Star Office Calci was the parent application of this Open Office Calci. Okay, this is developed by a German company called Star Division in the year 1985. Okay, so in the year 1985, the Star Division only um invented or developed this open office calci okay the star office calci is the parent application parent application means based on that star office calci only this open office calci came so this is called the parent application of this open office calci right this is uh, developed by a german company called star division in the year 1985 right and then next one is working with open office calci okay calci means this is a spreadsheet component of this open office right open office package had open office writer we have seen about this open office writer in the last session itself and in this session we are seeing about open office calci right this is the spreadsheet software of this open office package okay 
here you can uh, enter any kind of data which is uh, in which you can just do the calculation here they are having a term known as what if what if manner means we can change the data and we can get a result in this spreadsheet right and they have given the details about this first spreadsheet also also first spreadsheet we have seen that is vc calci right that is visible calculator that uh, short form only they have given us vc calci for apple 2 right this is given by vc corp and uh, this is considered that this turned the micro computer from a hobby for computer enthusiast into a serious business tool right so this prompting ibm to introduce the ibm pc after two years right uh, these details are also given the first about this first spreadsheet also they are given in page number 103 uh, when you just when you are uh, going through this chapter just make sure you read this do you know uh, part also right and let's see the features of open office calci okay connecting with excel that means this here we will have the ability to open edit and save microsoft excel spreadsheet also right here we have the main feature or the important feature of this spreadsheet is auto sum that means this helps us to add the content uh, if you are having five rows of content means you can just click the auto sum button and you can add that right and the next one is auto fill that means if you want to type one two three like we still thousand means you can just type one two three and you can just drag it you will uh, learn the functions how to function how to do these operations and all in this chapter itself now let's see what are the features alone right list of autofill right autofill uh, we have two types of autofill if you are giving 5 10 15 minutes in that manner also you can just autofill if you are dragging it you will get 5 10 15 uh, 20 25 30 35 40 45 likewise also you can fill or in the same interval right 2 4 6 8 means also in that interval also you can fill or 1 2 3 4 without interval also you can fill auto fill uh, in other format if you are giving 1 1 1 if you are having uh, for example i'll say if you are having uh, if every 50 students are scoring 100 marks you no need to give 100 50 times you can just type that 100 one time and you can just drag it till the 50 entries so the 100 will be uh, appearing in the 50 entries automatically right so that is autofill and the next feature is charts charts means you can just uh, give the values of data and you can get it in the form of pie chart or bar chart or a line chart or many other charts are also available in this open office calci right and the next one is functions that is used to perform uh, some operation that means you can just create a formula to perform a big uh, complex calculation on a data right that is function and the next one is database function that means to arrange or store or to filter the data that means here we can arrange the data in ascending order or in descending order or uh, in some other ways also you can just arrange the data that is database function right so the main features of this open office calci is connecting with excel auto sum list autofill autofill charts functions and database functions right and now we are going to see about creating a new worksheet okay to open a new spreadsheet uh, we have to go to start all programs open office or you can just uh, go to open office uh, calci directly from the start itself right open office open office calci also you can take or the general format to open this open office calci is start all programs open office and then open office calci right uh, if you are coming from star office screen means you can just go to star star center welcome screen and the open office icon will be there you can just double click on it and you can open from the star center also right and uh, the star center here means you'll have the spreadsheet icon there you can just double click it and the spreadsheet will be 
open right to take a new spreadsheet you have to go to file new and then you have to click on the spreadsheet okay so that the work area or the worksheet will be uh, appearing here we'll have so many cells and we we'll, we can do the operation in this open office calci right the main area of this uh, calci window is called as worksheet right we'll say it is work area or worksheet okay worksheet means it is a grid of cells with a programmable calculator which is attached to each cell okay when you open a new spreadsheet there will be three worksheets available by default okay we can include more sheets and organize them as per your wish itself when you open this star center you will get this dialog box or this page okay from here you have to select open office calci here it is written as a spreadsheet right that is open office calci icon okay when you click on that this page will be opened okay this is the open office calci window here if you see first one is written there right that one is title bar okay title bar means you have seen in that open office writer itself the top bar is a title bar right and the next uh, this right uh, corner if you see you will have the uh, three buttons control buttons right minimize maximize and close this and all we have seen in that open office writer itself so i'll just uh, say it quickly and we'll move on to the our next topic in this open office calci right and the three that file edit that is menu bar and the next one four that four to uh, that one is a tool bar and the five can you see that that is name box or address box okay and number six you can see one tab there that is quick function wizard okay and the next one you'll have a box text box like uh, one that is mentioned as seven that one is a formula bar or input line okay and next one eight eighth one is uh, you can see it in the side right that is formatting properties okay in the ninth one uh, down on the right bottom corner you have the zoom right zoom options and the 10 is scroll we know that scroll bar 10 is scroll bar and 11 is the status bar okay that bottom line is the status bar okay above that status bar above that 11 only we have that sheets right now sheet 1 is active if you want to uh, type in sheet 2 you can just type there sheet 2 sheet 3 and you can add there also you can just rename that sheet names also the, that options are also there in this open office calci okay now we are going to see the parts of open office calci window okay first one is title bar title bar we have seen here title bar is the top of the window and this is called title and it will be uh, given in a default name as untitled one okay when you save that particular file that file name will be changed we know about control buttons minimize maximize maximize or restore and the close button right and menu bar also we know we have file edit view insert format tools data window and help right in file menu we have create a new file open an existing file or close the current file edit means we'll have cut copy paste undo redo fill and all view also we uh, we can modify the view the uh, how we are seeing that window right if you are not having some toolbar and all we'll have it inside the view and if you want to insert uh, something inside this insert a row insert a column or insert a cell all inserting options will be inside this insert menu next one is format format means this menu will contain some commands uh, for uh, various uh, text and cell formatting features will be here and next one is tools then is um, tools means we all know we'll have some tools to function or uh, to perform some tasks like uh, spell check or a protect a document or inserting a picture or likewise these tools will be there and the next one is data data means here we'll have commands to manipulate the data in this spreadsheet like we can sort in ascending order ways or in descending order ways or we can filter some data separately 
or we can see the validations there and next one is window if some windows are not there we can just uh, go and get that window in this window menu and here we'll have new menu close window uh, new window close window split and freeze these options and all will be there in this window next one is help menu help menu means we know if you want any help you can just use this help menu right and this all about that's all about this menu bar and uh, these are all the things present in this menu bar right file edit view insert format tools data window and help right next we are going to see about toolbar okay toolbar also we have seen in uh, that uh, um, open office writer itself there we have seen standard tools and formatting tools right here we have one more bar there that is formula bar right here this in this calci formula bar is the most important one and this formula bar is present in this toolbar only right standard toolbar and formatting toolbar we have seen there itself uh, standard toolbar means we, it will contain um, some frequently used files or frequently used menus in that uh, like new open save send print print preview cut copy paste sorting insert like this whatever you are using frequently will be present in this uh, standard toolbar formatting toolbar means frequently used text and cell formatting commands will be there in this formatting toolbar like uh, changing the font style font size color alignments cell formatting these and all formula bar means this is uh, this here we can uh, this one it has a name box right it is a function wizard like sum button function button input line uh, we can give a formula inside this formula bar and in which particular cell is selected in that cell the answer will be displayed right understood next one is a name box here in this formula bar itself we have a name box function wizard and some button name box means it will display the current cell address okay function wizard means this is used to insert a function some button means this is used to quickly insert a some function okay and the next one is input line input line also will be here in this formula bar input line means this is used to show the contents of the current cell okay it is always shows it actually what is typed in the cell will be uh, shown in this uh, formula bar right understood when you click a cell whatever is typed in or the name or the address uh, address of the box will be if nothing is typed there the address of the box will be uh, displayed there in this formula bar right and the scroll bar we know it already we have vertical scroll and uh, horizontal scroll so to move the screen up and down we'll use this vertical scroll bar to move the screen left and right we'll use this horizontal tool scroll bar right and scroll buttons means you can uh, use that scroll button to a uh, relative distance that means you will have uh, the uh, button scroll button in the right or left corner of the horizontal scroll bar if you click that scroll button once it will move some right right you will have that scroll button in that vertical scroll bar also uh, when you use that open office calci or open office writer you will get the clear idea of this scroll button and scroll bar right next we are going to see about row column and the cell right uh, below the formula bar it will have uh, we can see the worksheet or the work area right this will have some cells it will have some grid lines to separate each cell and it will show you the rows and columns there right it will be labeled as a b c d right column means it will be men mentioned as a b c d a after uh, completing till z it will be mentioned as a a b b uh, sorry a a means next one will be a b a c a d after completing till a z it will start from b a b b likewise the number will be going right and the rows will be numbered as 1 2 3 4 like that right the in this open office calci version 4.1.5 it contains 1024 columns and 
ten lakhs forty eight thousand five hundred and seventy six rows. Okay, column will start from A and it will uh, end with A M J. Right? In case of uh, Microsoft Excel two thousand sixteen, there it will have sixteen thousand three hundred and eighty four columns. That means on the column first column name will be A and uh, the last column name will be X C F D. Right, rows like uh, this only. Rows uh, it will have ten lakhs forty-eight thousand five hundred and seventy-six rows. Right, and about the cell means each um, intersection of a row and column makes a box. Right, the each box will say it as a cell. Okay, each cell will have a unique address. Okay, the cell address means it is the combination of The column heading and the row number. Okay, column heading we have seen it already. A, B, C, R, we have seen right. That column heading and row also we have numbers, right? So the combination of this column heading and the row number will say it as a cell address. Okay, the cell address of the first uh, cell. That means in the first row, the first column will have a first cell, right? That will be A one, right? Understood? The cell pointer is a next one is cell pointer. Okay, uh, every cell will have a cell address that will be a unique one. And the next we'll going to uh, we'll be say seeing about cell pointer. Okay, cell pointer is a rectangular box which can be moved around the worksheet. Okay, the cell which in which the cell pointer is currently available will be uh, known as active cell. Okay, when you type any content, it will appear in that active cell. Okay. In word, uh, word means in that word processor, in that open office writer we have seen. Wherever the cursor is there, whatever you are uh, typing, it will be displayed there. Here, in which cell you are just clicking, in that cell, that in the that will be the active cell, and in that cell, uh, the cell pointer will be there, and the things which is written will be written there, right? The address of the active cell is displayed in the name box. Or the address box, right? We can say it is name box or address box. The active cell's column name and the number of that row, the row number and the column name will be highlighted, right? This uh, using this visual clue, one can easily identify the active cell. Which cell is active? Whatever we are typing will come in that cell, right? So we can identify that cell easily, and we can uh, just type in that cell. Right. Uh, this in this uh, about this grid of cells, cell pointer, and the column heading, row numbers, and all you would have got the clear idea, right? The highlighted column heading is the uh, in which column the cursor is there. It will be uh, set as active cell, and in that only it will be written, right? And next one is about. Worksheet tabs. Okay, worksheet tab means in this Calci, in this uh, Open Office Calci, we have many sheets, right? As a default one, we'll have three sheets visible in our work area, right? Three sheets means first sheet will be active. Then in that only we'll be typing. If you want a new sheet, you can just click the sheet two, right? Active sheets will be displayed like this. Can you see the difference between sheet two and sheet one? Sheet two and three are hidden. Sheet one is active, so sheet one is open there, and that sheet one only we are going to do the calculation. We are going to enter the text, right? If you want to add some text, you can just add it here itself. Here, sheet count will be mentioned here, right? Uh, here you have some previous next buttons and all sheet navigation button. If you click that, it will just move to the previous sheet or next sheet. If you are typing. Three or four sheets means first sheet will be there. Uh, if you want to go to the first sheet, you can just click the first one button is there, right? One um, arrow symbol with one line is there. That one. And uh, if you want to go to the last sheet, you can just click on the last arrow, right? If you want to go to the previous sheet, you can just use the normal arrow next to that first button, right? Move the First sheet. How to move to the previous sheet? Moving to the next sheet and move to the last sheet. These are all given in this uh, picture, right? So you would have got the clear idea how to move between the pages, right? Now we are going to see about how to renaming a sheet, right? 
to rename a sheet you can just here now you can see sheet 1 sheet 2 sheet 3 right you can just click it there you can just double click it there or you can just uh, um, right click and rename in that uh, name also in that way also you can just rename when you double click it, it itself it will uh, get it will give you a dialog box showing that sheet 1 or sheet 4 which one you are clicking that one will be open that name will be there and you can just type whatever name you need if you are uh, doing it for a report you can just you report one or report and you can just click on ok so that the sheet name will be assigned to that particular sheet right and the next one is status bar okay below that sheet tab you will have a horizontal scrolling bar that is uh, status bar okay this will show the current status of the worksheet okay this sheet count will be there that will display the current serial number of the sheet or the total number of sheets available there and the page style that will display the page style of the current sheet which is active there okay to make the changes you have we can just double click on the default one and you can just uh, get the page style dialog box and you can change the margins or orientations or page size or inserting a header footer or border style and all you can just use um, this page style okay next one is selection mode selection mode means this display the selection mode of the present active sheet okay here uh, you will have standard that will be given as std Right here we have three modes, standard, extend and add. Standard means STD, extend means EXT, add means ADD. Right, unsaved changes. Unsaved changes means um, an asterisk symbol is there. Uh, you would have used for multiplication and all we will use this asterisk symbol. Right, so this asterisk symbol we will say it as asterisk risk right asked risk a s t e r i s k asked risk okay that symbol is asterisk okay this symbol indicates the changes made in the worksheet right but uh, not uh, it saved it will it will show you the changes which is made in that particular worksheet uh, but it is not saved okay if you have saved your changes it will just disappear okay and the next uh, one is working with data okay working with data when you open a new worksheet the cell pointer will be located as a default one it will be located in a1 cell a1 means the first row or column the first row the first column we'll say the first cell will denote it as a1 okay that a1 cell is home cell okay the tab key is used to move the cell pointer towards the right side or forward direction okay shift tab means that uh, uh, particular cell the cell which is selected or the cursor will move to the left or the backward it is right to left row and enter means enter key is used to move the cell pointer enter moves the cell pointer to the cell below the current cell okay that is downwards and uh, four direction keys are there right you know the we have right arrow key left arrow key top arrow down arrow up arrow down arrow that four arrow keys are there right that four direction keys are used to move the cell pointer anywhere inside the worksheet okay now we are going to see how to enter a data inside this cell okay any type of data can be entered directly inside this cell okay in any uh, one cell is selected means that cell we will say it as active cell right in that active cell cell pointer is there that uh, if the cell pointer is in a1 that is active cell and whatever you are typing that will be displayed in that particular active cell right let's see the data types here okay data types uh, in this uh, data we have alphabets numbers date and time and um, in another uh, way we can just uh, have numbers and symbols also okay in general data types can be classified into alphabetic data type uh, that means it will contain only alphabets okay numeric data type means it will contain only numbers 
numerical means number or fraction number alpha numeric means that will be the combination of alphabet and numerals okay date data type means it will have date time data type means it consists of only the time right uh, how will you enter uh, the number any numerical data can be entered in a spreadsheet okay uh, entered number are aligned to the right side inside the cell by a default okay defaultly whatever you are typing will be displayed in the right corner of each cell okay when uh, when you give negative numbers it can be entered with the minus okay or uh, within the bracket also you can enter the negative uh, numbers if you enter any number within the bracket it will be changed as a negative number okay number uh, prefixed with minus will uh, if any number starts with zero the calcium will uh, drop the leading zero okay in this way you can enter any numbers in an active cell okay next is about entering text okay any character or text can be entered inside the cell and it will be aligned in the left side of the cell as a default one okay when entering a text it will be defaultly in the left side and when entering the numbers it will be entered in the right side of the cell right next one is when you enter a date and time you have to ensure the format of your system right in your computer a uh, format will be set for date month and time okay indian date format is uh, will uh, enter it uh, will write the date first then month then year right here uh, if you see we have uh, in asia in our countries and all there will be um, following date month and then year right in bhutan canada china korea taiwan hungary iran japan ludhiana mongolia and all they'll write the year first then month then date right in united states in uh, some other countries and all they'll be writing month first then date then year okay in malaysia nigeria and the philippines saudi arabia somalia and the date month and then year and month date and year that both the formats are followed there and afghanistan albania australia in some other countries like maldives nepal singapore south africa sri lanka sweden and all they follow date month year that format and also year month and date that format also okay here we have to check our computer or our system which format does our system support okay in that format only if your system is american date format means if you are entering 18th september 2020 means it will be automatically america means where is america america in this countries uh, the order of style is date month and year right first the date will be there then the month will be there then the year will be there right so each system will be following each format so in that format we have to give month date year or date month year in that format you have to give and as soon as you are typing uh, inside a cell it will be aligned to the right side inside in the cell right um, and it will show in the formula bar your date as how you have given and that date format type in that same format if month date and year or year month and date means in that format it will be shown in the formula bar also right this is a visual clue to know whether the date is accepted or not if you are giving in that format only the system will accept that this is a date okay the date format can be changed to any other valid form using the cell formatting dialog box okay cell if, uh, if you are selecting a cell and if you are right clicking it you will get the cell formatting box and the cell formatting dialog box will appear in from that you can select the date format okay like date for entering time this calci follows the general format as hours minutes and seconds right hours uh, we know first hours must be there then minutes then seconds so for dates it may be confused for each format time means um we will have this format only right so first hours then minutes then seconds likewise this uh, we can enter the 
date and time right our next topic is creating formula this uh, about creating a formula about doing this calculation and all we'll see in the next class right so in this session we have seen the basics about open office calci right in the next session we'll be clear seeing the clear uh, things about giving a formula doing a calculation and done okay so uh, make sure you read the portions today itself so that it will be easy to learn the formula uh, creating things and all in the next session okay thank you for your valuable time stay home stay safe take care bye